How are you doing? This is Dr. Wood. We did a uterine fibroid embolization today. I just wanted to show you some of the pictures that we got during the case. So here we have our left uterine angiogram. So what this is, is an, an angiogram. We've injected contrast dye in the left uterine artery. So this patient has a markedly enlarged uterus. Her uterus is 720 cc's, which is three or four times bigger than it should be. And the reason is there are two fibroids that are both eight centimeter diameter in the uterus, which means if we were to look at an x-ray of the pelvis, here's the bones of the pelvis. You can recognize the left hip and right hip. So this patient's uterus is coming way up here, way up out of the pelvis. The uterus should be right here. It's coming way up here because of those two fibroids. And we can see fibroid tissue being perfused by the arteries as we extend out these angiograms and watch as that contrast dye perfuses the uterine, or actually fibroid tissue up here. You can probably see that better on this angiogram. We've gone deeper into the uterine artery and we're injecting and we see contrast dye perfusing through the tissue of the fibroid up here. Okay, now this is the right side. We treated that left side with beads and we finished and we're treating the right side. Here we're injecting contrast dye in the right uterine artery. We freeze that and see how big that uterine artery is, several times bigger than it should be. Now we let it play out and watch as that contrast dye perfuses into this fibroid tissue, densely vascular fibroid, as fibroids always are. This is contrast in the capillaries of the fibroid. Fibroids are very vascular, tremendously vascular. Most of the blood flow going into the uterus goes into the fibroids in this patient and every patient with fibroids, which makes it very easy to treat with our beads. As we are getting the angiogram of that right uterine artery, you can see contrast sitting in the capillaries of the fibroid we already treated. That's contrast just sitting in the fibroid because we've stopped the blood flow into the fibroid. So the contrast is no longer getting washed out by new blood coming in, just proof not only that we stopped the blood flow, successfully treated that fibroid, um, but it also gives us a view of the fibroid that we wouldn't usually have. You can see this dark staining of that first fibroid that we treated here. And now we're gonna treat the second large fibroid that's right there and we can let that angiogram play out and see the contrast dye perfusing into that fibroid there. See that dark staining there. So we've got kind of twin fibroids here, very similar size and now we're going to treat the second one. And so as we finish treating the second fibroid from the right uterine artery, you can see this is our endpoint. Now there's a pretty much static flow within that right uterine artery, meaning that the contrast dye is pretty much sitting still and no longer any forward perfusion. There's actually a little bit, this is a still photograph, there's actually still a trickle of flow going into the uterus. But for the most part, uh, the, the flow has been, the, for the most part, the flow has been stopped. Maybe you call it 95% reduction in blood flow into the uterus. But this is what we want. We want to see contrast sitting in the uterine artery for several heartbeats. That's our endpoint. This patient did well. Thank you.